Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Tracy's Allotment. So this is the pumpkin bed. I'm just up with my son today because Carl's laid up. He's had an injury with his foot. We don't wait to see whether he's had a break or a um, fracture or a sprain. So, um, yeah, so I'm just up with my son. We've had quite a lot of rain over the past couple of days, so I've not really needed to come up. I do need to do a bit of weeding, but I'm not going to do it today because I'm just coming to harvest a few things and then go back um, and saw Carl out. So I just thought I'd give you a, a little look at this is the pumpkin bed that we put like the surplus pumpkins in and they're doing really really well um the grass has grown the weeds are grown we've had um 100 there's 100 litres collected in there so i will do a little bit of a water today because we've got no rain forecast today but we have got rain forecast tomorrow there's a little poppy came up there just out of nowhere which is quite pretty my pea pods are doing, uh, sweet peas, sorry, they're doing really well. Um, so they've got loads of uh, little buds and stuff on, so they should be coming out in flower soon. The little flower patch there that we've got, that looks nice, adding a little bit of colour to the plot. This is the plum tree, which is thriving at the minute. And we've got a couple of mara plants. And you can see there, there's a couple of maras grown on that one. And there is on this one as well. I don't know if you're supposed to cut them off and have like big ones or what. Dylan's doing a fantastic job for me. Um, picking the strawberries. Put them on there. Some of them are a bit funny shape, but they're a, they're a decent size them. I'm over the moon with them. Um, we made some strawberry jam the other day and it, honestly it tasted amazing so Dylan's picking all of the strawberries for us off here and um, we're going to give some to my mum because my mum didn't actually I forgot to give her some when she came through um, but she will be getting some some jam and there's a strawberry there that he's missed so look at them absolutely fantastic i'm over the moon with these strawberries that's just perfect that dylan um so we'll put them in there so my mum's in for a bit of a treat tomorrow um also the pine berries i wasn't too fussed with how they were producing to be honest um but they seem to be coming up to a half decent size i am going to move them into a bit of a bigger area so they've got a bit of a bigger area of the cells because they are kind of just shoved in at the end and you are right dylan the framberries here are just honestly these framberries have just come from nowhere so these are strawberries crossed with a raspberry and i think if we can get enough of them dylan i think they would make a nice jam and look at that slug there that Might needs to be, be you get it because you've got the gloves on there look that's what's eating the bubble berries so put it over that wall do you know it chucks them so it nearly hits <laughs> so yeah so we've got some bubble berries like I said to you before don't know what happened to that one be like. taking some damage um they are soft to be fair but, like Dylan said, the soft, so that might be why the slugs prefer them. Easier, easy pickings. But I'm over the moon with them frambries and like I say, the jam, if we could make some jam with them, if we had enough, which I don't think, I don't think we would have enough jam. Yeah. Um, I don't think we'd have enough to do some jam. But anyway, I'll leave Dylan um, to pick them. There's a big one on that second plant in there as well, Dylan. But some of the frambries picking all day, even. Leave the frambries for now because I'm going to keep them separate because they do look quite similar to a strawberry. So I want to put them separate on a different part of the box. So that's the um, flower bed nasturtiums. Sunflowers is getting head on. Um, beetroot and we've got some onions the spanish onions again you know i love the spanish onions um there's a nettle in there 
thorny one. I don't think there's any beetroot to harvest just yet. Another, maybe another. I don't know so much, you know. Maybe another couple of weeks or something or next weekend. But um, the onions there's just absolutely flying. I should really look at my camera when I'm looking. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're all flying. Onions. My dodgy camera skills, honestly. There. So the next bed, what we've got, rhubarb. So tempting to pick this, but we're not going to because... Oh, and there's a ladybug in there, look. Look at that. So we were, it's tempting to pick, but we're not going to because it's the first year. And we need to strengthen the crown. Um, The black currants. Oh, there's a few I can see ready there, which I am going to pick. The ones I got from my dad's allotment. Um, Oh, wow. There's loads in there. The ones I got from my dad's allotment, um, I put in the freezer because I haven't got quite enough to do any jam with yet. But once I gather enough, then that's when I'll I'll make the batch of jam. Sunflowers are doing really, really well. I planted all these um, and they're a mixture. So they're getting heads on, flower heads on. So they're going to look stunning when they open up. And then I've got three teddy sunflowers down here. And again, they're starting to open up and these were just surplus strawberries that I had that are just shooting runners off and they're just planting the cells, you know. So this is just going to be a bit of a wild, a wild bit. Uh, I'm not sure if my sweet corn's supposed to be doing this yet, but it is. <laughs> so we'll just have to see, see how that goes. Some of them's bigger than others. Some of them's doing, doing this, some of them's not. Um, I've never grown sweet corn before, so don't know if anybody can give us a few hint, hints and tips. Um, be great, but I'm just going to leave them and see how they go. Pea pods is doing good. Um, we're going to be picking, harvesting some of them. Oh wow! Go and put that one in the tray. That's perfect. So we're going to pick some pea pods as well. Um, because my mum, Dylan's nana, she likes pea pods as well. So she can have some of them with her strawberries. Um, I've got some red currants on there as well. They're ready, but there's not a lot. Not um, not a massive amount ready yet. But there is quite a nice few bunches on there ready um, to ripen. Sunflowers and raspberries here. These are summer raspberries and they're the autumn raspberries. We did have a couple of red ones on, but I think they've been eaten. And to be honest with you, for the quantity that there is, I don't actually mind um, if they do get eaten by the wildlife. Because to be honest with you, there's, I would like a taste of them to see what they taste like. But I, I cannot make anything with them. So, um, given the quantity that there is there. Rhubarb, that's doing fantastic again. And that's just a surplus courgette plant. And that again has got some courgettes on. In here, what we're going to harvest once we've done the berries, the strawberries and stuff, we're going to get these kohlrabi out. Um, and I'm going to have a little test of the carrots and see if the carrots are ready because they're just the chantonier ones so i'm not sure if they're ready yet and um, but look at that never had this before never grown it before um have no clue what to cook with it um but they're just we'll probably just pull quite a few of these out to be honest um carl's a bit of a chef in the hat in our house so I'll leave that to him and I videoed, video called him and he said just have a little feel rather than pull the carrots out to see. I don't think they ready them to be honest. Another few weeks I think for them. They look magnificent on the top but these are Swedes 
um again i'm not impressed with <laughs> i'm not impressed with these um i cannot really see through the net to see whether or not because of all the leaves and stuff to see whether they're actually doing anything on the bottom of them growing anything but leave them to do the thing and see see what's what the pumpkin bed here is doing amazing so we've got some of these here what trail up there what we'll have to once they start shooting off properly we'll have to start training them up up and over and these here there's a couple what you can see and you've got to be careful with pumpkins as well because they've got spikes on so you can see there that there's uh, one two i think there's three there on that little bit four so there's five on that one and then it's shooting and there's a one there that's six so we'll just have to see how they how they go i know some people take them off so that you get like one big one or whatever but um yeah and there's are they i'll sort them There's a marrow on here. I don't know if I can just to say see it on there. So the marrow's coming on great. Again, never grown them before. We're quite new to everything. Uh, there's a few leaks in here. There, 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 there. What we had left. And they are Brussels sprouts. Again, never grown Brussels sprouts and stuff before. So we're just taking it as it comes this is the wildlife area which we keep meaning to get round to doing what we haven't yet um this is kind of a bit overgrown the minute we're weeds and that oh wow so that's the strawberries so your nana's going to have a good feast with them isn't she she'll make a nice strawberry tart or something so the, yeah, the, the, yeah. We, I'll I'd have rather a look. grow them indoors. That's the framberries there, what we'll be I'll picking next. That's a framberry, you can have a taste if you want. I've ate one by accident, you overrate it. You don't even... Let's have a taste. Tastes like a strawberry. Tastes like a strawberry? Yeah. Doesn't, it's not as sweet as a strawberry. It's exactly like a strawberry, no. It's not. It's different to a strawberry. It's nice. Um, yeah, so that's the potato bed. And I think something that we have seen fox and deer. Um, and I think something's been laid in it. In the bed, to be honest. You can see like a big like hole there. Um, I'm coming in here. So it's coming from this side and been in there. I don't know what that's all about like. I know, nice poppy. They're the red cabbage, you can't really see for the net. Um, but that's the red cabbage and the beans. I think the beans are starting to flower a little bit, so we might get a couple on them. And these are leeks, which are doing fantastic. What I put in earlier in the year. Onions. These are seed onions, so we grew these from seed. And these ones here and these are the set onions but they are red now last time when we came up there was about two three what had gone to seed um but there's none that i can see that have gone to seed again so that's good but we just used them as like scallions and pickled onion type thing and in the brassica cage this is the last thing i'll show you everything's doing fantastic in here these January kings um, are starting to heart up. And I'll give you like that one there. So they're doing really, really well. Um, I don't know what they are at the back. I have no idea because we thought they were red cabbage, but they're not. So I don't know what they are. So we're just letting them grow and see what they are. The purple sprout and broccoli, that's coming on canny. Um, Again, first time that we've uh, grown them. That's purple sprout and broccoli. Um, that's Italian kale. That's Italian kale. This is purple sprout and broccoli as well. So it looks like we're going to get a, a bit of broccoli 
and some cabbage towards later in the year so that's a little bit of a plot to it um, i'm doing this for you guys and for carl because a video called him earlier and the quality wasn't great so i said i'd do a, a video and he'll have to watch it on youtube um but yeah so you know all in all i'm happy um with what's what so we'll get them i'm gonna have another look in the strawberry i think he's got them all there's still quite a few strawberries to ripen and i'm gonna get these frambries now and see if there's any bubble berries but i don't think we'll get many bubble berries anyway but yeah thanks for watching guys dylan's picking the pea pods for us so yeah thanks for watching and don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe catch us in a bit so we've pulled the kohlrabi so we're going to take these cut these stems off i've got some scissors in the shed and then we're just going to have the ball this ball root of it and um, we'll put that in our basket and i've just got a handful of little shallot spring onion type things these are the spanish onions so they're very mild so i'm gonna i've picked some of them and i'm gonna sort these out and then get home